Hey, it's Dr. John Finn here. I want to talk about leadership and how to lead with impact and specifically how to communicate in a way that helps your team, your people to be healthy, happy and at their best. And in order to do this, we're going to go inside the Habit Mechanic book and we're going to go to chapter 33. So we have a leadership model where we break leadership into four parts. One of those parts is what we call the action communicator. And as you see here, it's about how you empathize, how you empower, how you support and how you encourage. And what we always like to do is start by giving some practical examples of people that we could role model if we want to get better at communicating in a really powerful way. And one person I've got here is Sir Winston Churchill, um, who led the Great Britain through the very challenging period of World War II, known as a great orator um, and gave many, many inspirational, powerful speeches. But being an action communicator isn't just about giving big speeches. It's also about those daily communications. And another example uh, we have here is Sarah Blakely, who's a self-made billionaire and founder of Spanx. And she talks about having these things called oops meetings, where the, the leader shares vulnerability first. So action, becoming a great action communicator has a few elements. And the challenge with most leadership training is that's where it stops. It gives you some examples. It gives you some tips and some tricks about what you could do. Where we need to go if we actually want to help leaders to do better is we need to help them to build better leadership habits and specifically in this case, better action communicator habits. And that's why we have here in chapter 33, the what we call the action communicator self-assessment tool. And here we have a series. I think we've got 20 odd um, different statements about what it might be helpful to do if you want to become a better action communicator. So as a couple here, for example, it would be helpful to be more aware and purposeful with my body language when communicating different messages to people in different contexts. For example, face to face or via video conferencing. If you think that would be helpful, um, you could say, yeah, it's something I need to do better, which would be a C. If you think you already do it well, you give yourself a B. If it's not a priority, you give yourself a C. Next one is, it would be helpful to communicate my own weaknesses to others more regular. And again, you give yourself an A, B or C. And you work through all the 20 odd um, reflective statements in the action communicator. And you can then spotlight some very key areas that would be helpful for you to work on and you can create a habit building plan to do that. So if you wanna become a better leader, becoming a better action commun communicator is a really important part of that. And here in the Habit Mechanic book and approach, you've, you've got some practical habit building tools that you can use to help you lead with more impact or to help other people's, uh, people that you're helping to lead with more impact. If you want to learn more, check out chapter 33 in the Habit Mechanic book. Bye for now.